Hey, what's up guys? Silver Picker here. Today is Easter Sunday, so happy Easter to everyone. And uh, I just wanted to show you what my mom did. Um, this is what they started out as. She uh, hid them around the house. She didn't know they were, it was called coin roll hunting, but she thought she would do this for uh, Easter because you usually do an Easter egg hunt. But since I'm too old for that, she decided to do, uh, to put, you know, coins around the house. Coin rolls. And um, since she knows that I like to coin roll hunt. So, yeah, she didn't know it was called coin roll hunting, but it goes well with Easter egg hunting. So, yeah, so I'll show you this is what they started out as, and I'll open, uh, and I'll open the wrapper. She got me dimes and nickels, so I'll open the wrapper right here. Oh, that just came off. And you take these good. I don't even think I need the knife for this. So that's the dimes, and here's the nickel. It's hard to open these. Yeah, I can squeeze it out. Alright, so there's the nickel. Let's see what we can see on the end. Try to focus that. And there's the other side. One of these nickels was actually in 53. You won't be able to see it probably. But it was a 53. It's this one actually. Yeah, you can't see it because the date's kind of like hidden. But I'll go through the rolls and I'll let you guys know what I find. And I'll see you guys in the wrap-up if I don't find anything. All right. Hey, what's up guys? Happy Easter, everyone. And I went through all those nickel rolls. And on my last roll, I uh, opened it, dropped two nickels on the floor. And when I looked at it, I saw this. Nickel looking back at me, a V-nickel. This is my first ever V-nickel finding in coin roll hunting. And it's a 1907 V-nickel. Try to get that on camera for you guys. It's been giving me a problem when I'm trying to do the videos and showing the date. Alright, there you go. So it's a 1907 V-nickel. It's pretty worn, but it's really cool that I actually found a V-nickel. Because I haven't found a war nickel in a while. But I did find this V-nickel. And you know, some people, it's hard to find buffalo nickels and war nickels. And finding a V-nickel is just crazy. So I'm really excited right now that I found this V-nickel. And I still have some more nickels to go through over here. And I found some other nickels that I'll show you guys. And um, I'll show you guys all that in the wrap-up. And uh, the dime rolls that I had gotten, um, I opened up the first one. And it was all 2014 uh, P's. And from the edge, you can just tell they're all going to be 2014 um, P's. So I'll probably just uh, see if I can sell them, maybe. But yeah, I'll let you guys know if I find anything else in the wrap-up. Or if I find anything before that. Alright guys, see ya. Hey, what's up guys? Silver Picker here. And I'm just going to do... And this is the wrap-up for uh, my Easter Sunday coin hunt. And... Uh, here are the nickel finds. The first find, uh, well, actually, this isn't in order, but this is a 1907 V nickel that I found, and I'm still pretty excited from finding this. It's my first, and it's my oldest coin found, coin roll hunting. So I'm very excited about that. It's a 1907, and in the red book, it's the 2009 version of the red book, because I don't have the newer one, but I'm going to be ordering that one. The newest red book I'm going to be ordering, but, um, that... The V nickel is in uh, G4 condition, which is good for, and um, it's worth two dollars. Now, I also found this 1982 uh, nickel. I'll try to get this like focused in. 
there we go, it's 1982p. And this one um, is a little bit off center as well. Uh, well, not as this one, the v nickel wasn't off center, but this is off center as you can see uh, a little bit over here. This has a wider rim, and this one, this side doesn't really have much of a rim. So, yeah, that's pretty cool if you guys can see that. Uh, and up there. Um, but this one's about $5.50 in MS65 condition. And in MS63 condition, it's about $2.50. And that's according to the 2009 book, the Red Book. So, it's probably worth more um, in the 2015 Red Book. Which I'll be ordering, if they have a 2015 or... 2014, whichever one's the newest one. So I did get those two. Now for the dimes. Um, I opened one roll of dimes and um, it was all 2014s. So uh, I decided to keep the dimes. And I did have three rolls, but I did drop one on the floor and it partially opened. So I uh, just opened it and put it in the throwbacks, which I'll be um, putting back at the bank. So I do have two rolls of 2014 P's, and uh, I'll probably be, I'll try, probably see if I can sell these. But yeah, guys, that's my finds for my Easter Sunday hunt. And uh, like, comment, su and subscribe for more if you enjoyed. And happy Easter! All right, see ya.